Imagine a classroom where you could work a snooker cue, crack walnuts, and push pistons all through the power of mechanics. Apprentices at the JCB Academy can now do all of those things and more. An interactive training area, open to mark National Apprenticeship Week, will help the engineers of tomorrow gain much-needed experience. The new space, sponsored and built by motion control company Parker Hannafin, is designed to teach practical engineering skills. Students will learn how hydraulic, electrical, and fluid power works. They can use interactive surfaces that light up and complete group challenges. There are also displays of engineers and events that helped shape the world. In fairness, all political parties are keen on raising the esteem of apprenticeships, getting rid of what I call Mickey Mouse apprenticeships, getting real, genuine apprenticeships, and that's what we're trying to do here. And this sort of kit is helping us to do exactly that. So this is very, very important um, to help meet the uh, incredible skills gap that we have in the country. We don't just want to teach academic stuff, we want to have practical vocational teaching as well as academic teaching. What we like to make sure is to have a real hands-on experience and, and what we've not been able to do up to this point in time is give those youngsters a real hands-on experience of fluid power and hydraulics. What we've been able to do is demonstrate it to them in theory. We've enabled them for them to do it in simulation. They've not actually been able to get their hands on it and actually see how it works. And clearly, if they're going to get a real in-depth understanding, they actually need to feel it, see it and touch it. Because if you look into what is going on in the world today, there are many, many companies out there who have got the money to invest into technologies, into machinery, equipment. So if we would like to survive there in the Western economies like the UK or Western Europe, we need to distinguish ourselves, we need to differentiate ourselves there, and the only way of doing it is uh, with the right people. What I'd love to see really, to some extent, is the opportunity that I missed at that age, was the idea of it, at school age being able to make things, use my hands to make things happen. This is real world, it's not just about school books and textbooks, it's about practicalities of making stuff. I mean, they have cars here, they do stuff that's just so exciting they'll gain from that in terms of engaging with engineering rather than being a sort of rather dull and boring stuff. But what do the apprentices think of their new learning space? It's just fantastic how it's been put together. It is fantastic, it really is. Some of the applications and how they've been represented is, is really quite clever. Coming into this amazing space, it really allows students to have a hands-on experience. I think it's so different to anything else I've really seen before. I think it's an amazing facility. We're taking the theoretical based knowledge that is so fundamental for engineering and actually giving it a practical application. This is far more modern, so um, with Pascal, for example, you've got an actual hands-on modern approach to learning about the theories of fluids. As National Apprenticeship Week is proving the value of apprentices to the UK economy, the partners aim for more homegrown engineering talent is right on target.